Remember last week I mentioned a rejection? I sent in a journal of mine for review to be published in an art magazine. This was several of many years ago. Today I want to share that journal with you. Oh. Maps, maps. They can take you anywhere you wish to go. No matter if you get there by bus, plane, train, Do you recognize the common thread here? Rejection, failed, you know, the failed cardboard art series I shared with you? It seems as though most things I do with my art is a fail or a rejection. Let me tell you though, that's life for me and I don't let it stop me. I was never the kid who won an art award in school, but loved art, and I knew I'd be an artist one day. These two examples of rejection and fail are of no surprise to me. I always hear God saying, keep showing up, and I do. Spread your wings, wings spread for a lifetime. If you don't, no one else can do it for I you. I share all of this as an encouragement. My hope is no matter what it is that you received and know on, you keep going, you keep shining, you keep showing up and look for his goodness in every ounce along the way. These are the moments he really wants us to cling to him and grow and develop even stronger our relationship with him the depth that builds our spiritual growth i see the sun when i set out to potentially have my work published in an art magazine the requirements were to send in the original work you couldn't send in photos of it or copies these, the original had to be sent along with a self-addressed envelope and a blank card. If you weren't accepted, they would send it all back to you along with a letter of rejection, which I believe the rejection letter was inserted in the blank card. So that was the requirement of having that sent in so they could slip that letter inside there. I still have that letter somewhere. Anywho, I treasure this journal. It tells small glimpses of me and things I walk through, words of wisdom, encouragement, mixed media te techniques, and more. This last week was busy all the way to the weekend. Things may get a little tricky around here posting. I'm aiming to keep it up but it's fall season here. My favorite page. Due to the busy week, I got behind on my household duties, so I played catch up today. After a ball game Saturday, my husband and I went to our secondary home to install blinds. I'd untape them, which I taped up because the lids wouldn't stay on and it helped with travel. It was a peaceful weekend. This home is for when my daughter moves on to university. We wanted time to get it ready and pace ourselves. We closed on it last week. The beauty of being an artist all these years has been being a homemaker parallel to art. So I like bringing you along to help navigate. I'm not always in the studio and don't always create. I kept this journal tucked away in a random bowl in my studio. I love the depth and texture of this journal. A few pages are my favorite, and a few aren't. Believe it or not, the Honey Bee page is my all-time favorite. Along with the first page about maps with the little girl. I saw a little girl in a sandwich shop one day that looked like this. I grabbed a pen out of my purse and sketched her on a napkin and tucked it all back in my purse. And then when I went to create for this journal, I slipped that napkin back out on my work table next to me and created to be placed amongst this journal. 
I might not know where I am going, but I always find myself when I get there. It's been extremely hot here, like 100 degrees hot. Most think it's the hottest we've ever had, and others disagree. Bottom line, yards and cornfields are burnt to a crisp. Rain is on the way, but until I see it. I hope you've enjoyed this process of seeing this journal shared with you along with glimpses of days of the past week of mine as I walk parallel with my art and homemaking slash stay home mom. I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.